Welcome to the review of Unit 9 PET Promise. To give you a quick summary of what we talked about before, was well, just simply about something we all use and we might receive daily or weekly every time you order delivery. The PET plastic, you know, containers and bottles. Uh, that, well, our apartments, office tills, places, they make us recycle. Um, but even though we're recycling, uh, and that can be a blessing, it's a very mixed blessing, simply because you know, some countries cannot recycle everything. And it costs us you know, a very sophisticated process to break it down and to reuse a lot of it. And so researchers at the Washington State University in Seattle have started to try to find a solution for this to mm -hmm. make sure we don't waste any uh, broken down or recycled plastic because we're running out of space to put it and land and if we burn it, the fumes can be toxic depending on the chemicals. Run out. Run out. Fume. Fume. Professor Ling Hon Fei and his graduate student at WSU, they uh, have found a way, uh, this affordable process to break down plastic with certain chemicals at roughly 220 degrees Celsius, um, which Sounds very high temperature, yeah, really. <laughs> but it's not as extreme temperature as what usually requires. Affordable. Affordable. It's a much better way to break down plastic into actual recyclable material that can be reused in a structural sound way as to, you know, avert any crisis that we might have in the future with, you know, toxic waste or, you know, buildup of plastic. Avert. Avert. What are the most common uses of PET plastic? Yeah, you are, you are asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. about it and you know, there are many times like small initiatives to make use of it, mm -hmm. but it's not a common thing and it's not a big thing. I'm thinking of like some people use it for some type of furniture, they'll mm -hmm. put it together or uh, small pieces of jewelry, etc. But I couldn't think of like a very common use. Mm, right, right. Why? Can you think of anything? Uh, like outside of our tubs and containers, yeah. not really. Yeah. But plastic, specifically PET plastic, is very moldable and can be used for many, many things yeah. in industries and commercial use and private use. Uh, it's in so many things that we may not realize. Yeah. That's it for our review section, and we'll see you on the next one.